are Team Incredible in the Time Dilation Dilemma. Hi, Tony. I'm Bree. I'm Talisa. Samantha. Beth. Kaylee. Brandon. And we're the Incredibles. Yeah. We're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Team Incredible leader Brandon was going to pick up his date, but little did he know trouble was lurking around the corner. You ready for a date? Hey, how are you? Just oh, I'm good. Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh. So I was in class the other day, and we were talking about how the universe is constantly expanding. And I feel like I think about it. It's like our relationship. It's just expanding. And I just, oh, I know it's wrong. That's some gray hair. That is terrible. I gotta get that fixed. Here you go. Oh. Well, after hours of Brandon checking his fine self out, he receives an unexpected phone call. Oh, baby. <coughs> hmm. Wonder who that could be. Unknown number. Hello? Hello, Mr. Incredible. Who is this? That is for you to soon find out. But for now, I have your girlfriend. And if you ever, ever want to see her again, you better come quick now. You took her? I thought she dished me. No. Okay, let me talk to her. Let me talk to her. I don't know if she's okay. Wait, only for this one time. He's your silly boyfriend. No, and the universe, like I was telling you before, is like a relationship and it's expanding. Whoa, 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 Where are you? Where are you? Eh, that is enough. You have a crazy girlfriend. This. I think it's time I get some help. Guys, guys, you're never gonna believe what just happened. Don't worry, we're already on top of it. We've traced the phone call. We need to listen to it again. What's up? Wait, I hear a train. I hear a train. And a train. And there's, you hear the waves in the background? I hear water. That has to be the island of Tikiwala. That's what I was thinking. It's the only island with train and water on it. We have to come up with a plan. And we need to do it quick. The incredible base, yeah. the team was working furiously to figure it out. So, what's the plan, guys? Okay, we figured out that we're gonna need to use time dilation. What is that? Well, it's kind of like Einstein's theory of special relativity. You know, when there's um, an observer looking from a moving object and the observer watching it. Can you explain that to me? What do you would ask? We got it all out for you. Okay. Okay, so first of all, we've figured out our different knowns. We have the distance to Tikiwala, which is approximately 4.80 times 10 to the 6 meters. Meters. Quite a distance. <coughs> and the airplane that you're going to have to go on to get there is going to have to be traveling 300 meters per second. That's going to be its velocity. The incredible jet. The incredible the jet. jet. Yes. Yeah. Very fast. It's already, get, it's already getting prepped and ready. Skilled up. Skilled up. Nice. nice. And then we also know the speed of light constant, which is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Which you should know. That's fast. Yeah, that's fast. Speed that's of light, fast. It's pretty that's fast. fast. Mm -hmm. Pretty fast. So we're going to use these known constants that we have, and we're going to plug them in to um, find our change in time, which we can then apply to find our overall time dilation constant. And we're going to do some manipulation of these equations. This is my net forever. Exactly. You're like you're in physics class or something. <sighs> well, this is it. It's all going to make sense to oh, you soon man. here. You are going to use the distance, which is the 4.8 times 10 to the 6, divided by the speed, which we know is at 300 meters per second, which you're going to be traveling at to find the change in time. And don't forget that this is from the observer's perspective. So this is going <coughs> to be us watching you guys going in through the jet. Okay. Okay. And then to find the square root of the speed divided by the speed of light, we're going to plug in the 300 meters per second squared divided by the speed of light, which we all know, which gives us 10 to the negative 12. Now this part of it is from the plane. This is going to be you guys traveling over there. And to make sense of all of this, we are going to get the time dilation, which gives us... Yeah, so we've just manipulated this equation. 
to actually solve for the time dilation, we plug in the constants that we've already found, the change in time, and then 1 minus the square root of this, which we found as well. We plug that in to get our actual time dilation. Crazy. I think I've heard of this before. It's kind of like, kind of like when you're in a car and you and you drop something. How like, and you're moving. How it just falls straight down for you. Exactly. But for somebody else, it's it kind of falls in this kind of path, right? Yes. It's not change in distance. Yeah. In that makes sense. Time. I think this will work. I think this is gonna work. Alright. We're gonna get your girlfriend back. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Brandon and Talisa hop into the incredible jet, find out in a little bit of turbulence. Oh, this is really fast. Incredible speed of 300 meters per second. Or if you'd like to think about it. <laughs> about 670 70 miles per hour. The Incredibles are here. Oh uh, no! You, you cannot find me! I'm out of here! Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Went to your rescue. Oh, We're here. Don't you. worry. Oh, the Incredibles are here. Little catch me, Miss Nine Incredibles. Oh, zing! Got How you. dare you? I've had enough of you. How dare you take her from me? I can't. Oh. Kapow! Pow! That's right. Oh. Boom! <laughs> Where are they? Find out who you really are. No. Bree, is that you? Yeah. What was with that French accent? I kind of don't like you guys, so I've had enough. That is I terrible. Really like, I'm sorry. Can I